right, so today we are installing the circuits that whip. This whip will be installed in this cannon. Yeah, factory. Factory zip ties, right? They're not from Venom. So this is where the mount's gonna go. Can you tell us where the whip is from? Um, circuit studs. Circuit studs. Find it on our website. And what is your website? Circuitstuds.us. Perfect. There you have it, folks. Let's go walk around while these guys started the work in progress. So again, this is a Can-Am Maverick XRS. And we are getting ready to install the circuit stud with it. Okay. Please excuse the ice cream truck on the background. This is a perfect way to mess up to mess up your Maverick. Okay. So please leave your 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 your, your thoughts in the comments. Tag it. Tag it or something. people you ask to the go off roading. Yes. I can't beat them. You can't beat them? It's because you always pick red. I do, huh? For everything. Like what color leg nuts are you gonna put on it? What color leg nuts are you gonna put next with it? Black. Red. What color is on your shirt right now? Mm -hmm. Show Burgundy. people what you're wearing. Venom. What accessories? Red. red. <laughs> what blue? Gray. Today. So we need a 19 mil to take 19 down. mil? Okay, Let's and see. just to take a li um, go a little retract back on the video, this requires a T40, T40, Let's go ahead and for the mounting plate, you can buy this uh, toolbox at Home Depot, has a lot of torques. What colors is whip again? Red. Red. Does it change colors? It has like 20 different colors. 20 different colors, nice. Yeah, just bring it over here. These nuts in the back, they are uh, 13 millimeter. So we'll go ahead and make sure you guys have a 13 socket. Okay. Let's take some pictures of the lug nuts. Some lug nuts, some lug nuts, some venom lug nuts. Where are they at? Show them to everyone on social media. Let me see what we got there. These are powder coated. Done in house by yours truly. You got a pamphlet, business cards. These are flat red. It came with a sticker, but this guy couldn't wait for the video, so he already installed it. Slapped it on the rear end. Look at them beauties.
you can find these these are eight series at www.venomwheel.com let me go ahead and try to get this in for you guys so look at that these are flat red powder coat very nice and then I think you already have some adapters installed right so this Canon has two inch adapters installed already you can kind of see the wide stands it has mean mugging mean mugging look at that it looks nice what's the stock 72. 72. So now it's 74. 76. Now it's 76. Correction. So you can also find these adapters at venomwheel.com. Okay, so just so everyone knows, the next step they're doing is they're trying to figure out where they're going to install the control unit. Okay, so just a little bit about these rock lights. These are from Circuit Studs. They have 20 different color changing options. And then they stick on with, uh, there's two small holes. You can screw them on or you can put 3M or any self-adhesive tape. You look something like this. You guys can find this at your local hardware store, Amazon. If you're lazy to drive. Show me, show me the rock lights. The camera. There you go. Quick, quick release. Quick release. Very nice. Very nice. And those are also color changing. Yep, twenty different colors. Twenty different colors. Very nice. I think uh, this is the box, right? LED rock lights, high power. 20 different colors. And we're back. What are you using to clean uh, this Can Am? Uh, it's a Rebel. It's a it's Rebel. Leather yeah, plastic and vinyl cleaner. Okay, let me see. Let me see. It looks nice. Shout out to Renegade Products. They're always coming through with the quality products. This is another one. This is Rebel. Rubber and vinyl. Or Rebel, Rebel, vinyl, and plastic. So this is water-based, so it doesn't provide that, that oil-based type of liquids where nothing sticks to it so this is going to give it a good adhesion
So that. when installing, make sure that the wire is not touching or it's not interfering with any part of the chassis of the plastics. Cause zip is it the 3M tip will not stick. Okay, so that part's done. And so you guys get a better angle. That is the first one. The little, or what folder did you say? So now the guys just have to check in the wires and run it to the front of the vehicle. And then we're gonna go through here or through all the way through the yeah, we can take it all the way to the top, but that way just so you can't go through the top. You don't have to come back down. Well, yeah, I wanted to come back down, but kind of just took in the wire good, you know? So... Because if you look, if we bring it through here, you're going to see it. I mean, if you really pay attention, like, from the inside. Like, right here, I don't want to be too bigger. Yeah, no, that's fine. And let's just take it to the top and just bring it down. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So... Um, you guys are going to run it through the uh, roll cage? Yeah, it's all the yeah. way up. The frame itself, just to the back, so it can be tucked in. Pull it up a little. Where I pull up? You kidding? Well, that's not as easy to do. Um, let me see. Level. Well, we'll put it in first. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is how we ran the wire for the rear right rock light it went over the roll cage then it came down then we wrapped it behind this hose in to the side passenger seat and kind of hard to tell but it came out and we'll show you guys where we're going to be installing the module shortly. So the guys are removing the center console because that's where the module is going to go for the lights. Don't break it now. That one, and then what else? This is the one right here. This shit, no? right here. No, this one. Right here. It does have a Phillips at the top, or is it a torque? But this is uh, what not to do. This is the first time taking it apart. We enjoy yeah. breaking go. toys. Breaking Rudy's toys. Breaking Rudy's toys. This is what we're gonna call this video. How to break toys. How to mess up Mavericks. But that's how you learn, so that's good. It should just pop right out, unless it has one more screw somewhere. What if you put it like on neutral or move the shifter level? Yeah, some, something like that, like keep it out there. No, because this, this little thing stays. Oh, gotcha. There's something that we're not seeing here. This side is loose, I can see the pop. Oh. Oh. 
see, look at the clip right here. Show me your face. Show me your face. What was that? Retaining clips. Well, you get the floor. Oh, well, I don't wash it. But I just don't really get the laundry. I got extra kid now. I don't know. I said you keep the spares. So it was just clipped on, guys? Yeah. Yeah. The washer. So when the, the guys pulled it up, a washer fell off. So that's weird. Here. Right over here. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, it was there. So that's what keeps it in place. That's why you weren't able to take it off because you were probably supposed to pull the washers off prior to pulling it. That's the there was another one that fell too. Oh, yeah. See, so you have to take the whole thing off. Now we know. Okay. Well, so nothing is broken, but we learned. So then, where are we at, guys? Oh, and it has power here. Users. Nice. Oh, there's little pokes to power up. Mm -hmm. Where are we going? So, well, this goes like this after, right? This yeah. Should be. Oh, yeah. There you go. So that's... We have power. So you gonna we're gonna put 3M on that thing too? Stick it to the side? Yeah. Is there another part to right? I think you have to inside the plastic. Show us the module, please. So this is the module. You go ahead and scan it with your smartphone, and then this is gonna control your lights. And then since our whip light is also Bluetooth controlled, you're gonna control everything through your smartphone. Very nice. Look at that. What if we don't have a smartphone? Then go buy one. Go, go buy, buy one. <laughs> you heard that, folks? Get, your yourself. Get yourself some circuit stud lights and then a smartphone. Oops. So this is where the module went. And then we just wired it to the fuses that the Maverick comes in. We were thinking of doing it over here, but we don't want to mess with that. And there you have it. Okay, so the front ones were installed here. It's kind of dark, super dark.